What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again. And today guys, we are reviewing the brand new Metrolite M22. Now, you heard the word M22. It may sound familiar to you because this is, I guess the second or just M22 is the the, the the second edition or the, the more updated model of the original Meprolite M21. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on top of my Galil. We've actually done a review on that and uh, you can go and check it out. It's one of the most iconic, you know, optics out there, uh, non-battery powered, um, has a very, very long shelf life and uh, it's been battle proven from over 20 plus years it's, it's older than the trigicon so it's it's definitely had its lineage of being a very reliable optic and metrolite pretty much took everything from the 21 and in a way kind of made it more compact upgraded some of the features and made it even better and new with the m22 now i actually have some of the spec sheets here that uh we can just go over and then we could talk more off the record, I would say more just organically, but I do want to give you guys the specs that some of you guys may want to know about when it comes to this optic. So for the weight, you have nine ounces. The dimensions are 3.8, 2.2, and 2.7 inches. The display window dimension is one and 0.8 or 25, 20 millimeters. Um, you have a red reticle, which I didn't even peep that, that it's red because compared to the original model, it was a amber or on the 21 with like a more amber type of reticle color. The windage and elevation you have on this is a one MOA with the total windage adjustment of 60 MOA. Now for the power supply itself, as I stated, there is no battery in this at all. It is lit up by fiber for daytime and tritium for nighttime. So with that being said, it's gonna last you a very, very long time. The tritium is a radioactive type of material that glows in the dark, but does not need light to do so. You may see it on some of your sites or you know your iron sites, that tritium glow that is featured there. And that's what helps power this at nighttime. During the day, it kind of conserves that tritium because you are utilizing the fiber optic that is then relying on actual daylight to help brighten up that uh, optic. The mount is a Picatinny with a quick release. So you also have that featured here, which I really like. That was also featured on there. It's water resistant up to 66 feet for one hour. Um, operation temperatures, negative uh, 40 Fahrenheit to 140 Fahrenheit and storage temperature is the same. And also one of the big things I wanted to say, because I've, it's very important with, you know, I stated with the battery supply on this bad boy, and there is no battery, but the tritium is uh, warranted up to 10 years and it's said that the shelf life, I believe, of tritium is like 12 or 15. And there's some people that still have M21s to this day that kind of are still, they're still kicking. So you can expect to get a long life of battery off of this bad boy if it is something that you uh, are you know, interested in. And also that switch from that tritium to fiber is instant. There's nothing that happens in between. Now, I want to say, and I'm looking here just to confirm because I know a lot of y'all guys are going to ask about this. One of the big issues of the previous M21 was the washout. So being inside and uh, looking outside and it's brighter outside and inside was a big issue with this optic. And there were some fixes for that uh, that they offered, which was uh, putting on a little cap, I believe. Or, and even now, though, that kind of is already kind of featured on this bad boy, like the cap that helped utilize there. There was also like filters, the cap filters that would darken everything to help bring the outside lighting to be brought down in order to be able to see. It's kind of very similar to like with the camera. For instance, this camera right here, if I go out in the very daylight, like it's extremely, extremely bright, my camera might not be able to operate because it's almost too bright. But what you end up doing is you get a UV filter like this which then will help bring down that lightness outside to then kind of balance things out. That same type of cat that you see here also is featured for this Metrolite M22 that you can just screw on. It will help you with that washout type of issue. I don't have that issue though looking outside right now when I just did that. So that's something also just to keep in mind. It uh, pairs up very nice. And this is, I believe the MX4. It pairs up. It does utilize though a riser but it matches up and pairs up very, very nice. We utilized this on the car roll because I thought it was only right to put it on a weapon that 
it more than likely will be operated on or could be operated on. But of course you could put this on with any other AR-15 and it works perfectly fine. Um, as I stated before, it has a very nice overall window that you can look through. It's easy to acquire targets with this one. It doesn't, you know, there's no like real weapon sway and like no like sway of it. I forgot the name of it. When you move it around, it moves like very uh, out of place. But like when, when moving around it, there's no sway of the actual optic itself. Um, I like it overall. I like everything that they did. I like the brand new look. The new look is different, but I really do like it. It feels rugged. It feels solid. The clamp, the cutie mount, all very, very nice. And uh, I like the people at Metrolite. We're actually going to be doing a lot of pistol optics that they had recently released over during shot. They dropped a whole new set of pistol optics as well. So we will be checking those out on the channel as well. But if you are looking for one of those this dope battle optics that you know that can be put through anything and it's been in service for decades this is definitely the way to go it's a very overall solid optic priced very well um ready for any terrain and you know maybe you're a trijicon guy maybe you're not but this is in my opinion on that same level as a trijicon and i have no issues with it whatsoever their customer service is amazing as well and it's a very rugged, very fine optic. I'm not here dogging Trigicon, so please don't kill me in the comments, but I'm just saying like it's built and it's utilizing the fiber optics. It's doing all the same things, but as stated before, I believe that Meprolite was utilizing the fiber optics even before it was introduced with the Trigicon ACOG. Optic though wise, it's, it's fabulous. Check out my website. Um, I do blog posts, like reviews as well, like where I follow up on stuff like this. And you can learn a little bit more about the M22, as well as this magnifier, which pairs perfectly well with it. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below in the comment section. But the Mepro Light M22, we've been running it for a couple of months now and running it on this gun. We're probably gonna start moving it around. I might move it over to the Hellion. And if you guys wanna see follow-ups or anything like that, let me know, but I just wanted to put something out now because I've had it for quite some time and give you guys my just honest opinion on it. And uh, I don't have any real issue with it. I think it's a fabulous piece of art, in my opinion. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all as always, and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. I'm out, peace.